While some members of the Oklahoma Legislative Black Caucus, along with a local superintendent, say an attack on DEI in schools is an attack on Oklahoma, and the time to act is now. Anytime there's pushback on inclusiveness, that's a pushback on all of the people in Oklahoma. I hope that the citizens of Oklahoma will see what's happening and will stand up and will fight back with all of their might against these types of things that are hurting us and hurting our schools. Some members of the Oklahoma Legislative Black Caucus, along with the superintendent of Millwood Public Schools, standing up for DEI in schools. So it's not just words, it's not just an ideology, it really is serious impact. You'll remember back in January, State Superintendent Ryan Walters questioned the money going into these programs, asking for a full review. Are we actually spending money that equates to student outcomes to meet high workforce shortage areas? Or are we spending it on left-wing indoctrination? The state regents of higher education releasing the data saying less than one-tenth of one percent over the last decade was used for these programs in public institutions. The work behind DEI is not just something that happens for people of color. It's something that is important for special education students, for homeless students, um, for students who may be um, um, low income for parents who can't provide. The Oklahoma State Superintendent continues to perpetuate harmful ideology and inflammatory statements that have racially biased undertones. Chairman of the Legislative Black Caucus, Jason Lowe, says the state superintendent should focus on other things instead. We would like to implore him to focus on keeping quality teachers in our state and improving educational outcomes. If we put standards in the, in the hands of teachers and we don't emphasize that they need to honor the diversity of students, then people get excluded. So all of a sudden you are teaching to one type of child as opposed to teaching to all types of children. And of course, we've reached out to State Superintendent Ryan Walter's office. We still haven't heard back at this time.